In this video, I'm going to show you how to hook up your KK2 board to a FreeSky D4R2 um, receiver. Now, the bad thing about having this setup is that the KK2 board does not output the voltage some, like a NAS32 would. So, on this video, we're not going to be hooking up this wire that came with your receiver because this doesn't have the outputs. Now you can get another uh, FreeSky product that plugs into here and then we'll plug into your um, wiring harness or something where it can read the voltage and then this can transmit the voltage back down to your receiver or to your Tranus. But this KK2 board does not output that uh, voltage information. Well the first thing you want to do is you want to, we're going to use PPM on this because this is like I said in my other video, this is a four channel receiver. But if you do PPM, you can get six uh, without having to flash any firmware. You can get eight if you want to do firmware flashing. Take this little um, adapter thing here and you want to put it on channels three and four. And that tells this to start outputting PPM um, instead of uh, just regular, regular analog signals. Then you're going to need a little cable like this. this. They call these servo leads. They're just little three pin deals. The colors don't matter if you have red, black, and uh, white, or this brown, orange, and yellow. The, the main thing to remember is that black is al always ground and your uh, brown is always ground. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to hook this up to channel one and we're going to plug it in like this. There it goes. Okay, we want to hook up the brown to the negative, the orange red color to the positive, and then the yellow is your signal. Then this is going to plug in to channel one, on, which is the top left on your KK2 board. And the ground on the KK2 board is always on the outside of the board. So when we plug this in, we want to plug it in the right way. We're going to plug it in like that here. I'll get it a little closer. I'm going to plug it in just like that on that very top pin. Now that we have the cables connected, we want to go ahead and turn on the Tyrannies. And we want to connect in the power to the KK2 board. And this receiver is showing that it's bound already there with the green light. You want to go into menu, go down to mode settings, and you want to change this CPPM enabled from no to yes. Then hit back. And you need to recycle your power, the power to your board, or recycle your board. So we'll go ahead and unplug it, plug it back in. Now it's set for PPM. And if we go down to receiver test, there's what it looks like. Let me go and move the throttle. Oh yeah, look, they're all messed up. So when you start messing with the sticks inside here, you'll see a lot of them are all messed up compared to what they should be. Low battery. Oh great, my battery's low. So what you want to do is you want to quit out of this menu and you want to go down to the CPPM settings and you want to set them, you want to set them just like this. You want to set the roll to two, pitch to three, throttle to one, yaw to four, and auxiliary to five. And then once you have those set, go ahead and push the back button and we'll go back up to the receiver test again. And there it is. Enter. Now when we do our receiver Welcome test. To Throttle warning. Yep, there we go. The uh, you the only ones that need to be reversed at this point. No and you have to do the reversing on your transmitter. But the re the ones that need to be reversed are your rudder and your no elevator. Battery. The rudder and the elevator are backward on here. So when I push the elevator forward, it says back. No I push it backward and it says forward. And the same thing for the rudder. Here's far left and far okay. right. So back in the Tyrannus you want to tap the menu button and then select the model that you have set up for it. We'll go ahead and we'll push page and we're going to move over to the mixer. So the ones we need to reverse are the rudder. So we'll go down here to the rudder, hold down the enter key, then tap the enter key to edit. We'll come down here to wait, push the enter key and we're going to change this from 100 down to negative 100. So there's that one, enter, we'll push exit to go back out, exit, and then we want to reverse the elevator, edit, 
All right, let's look back over at the KK2 board. All right, here's the KK2 board. We're gonna go back into menu, down to receiver test, and we'll test the throttle all the way up, all the way down, and the rudder all the way to the left. Yep, there it is, it's reversing now. All the way to the right, and the elevator forward, the elevator backward, the uh, aileron left, and the aileron right. So anyway, that's looks like it's ready to fly, so let's take this off. And now you just need to set up the auto level onto a switch on your Tyrannus to, send, to change the auxiliary channel. Alright, so now we're going to set up the auto level switch. First thing you want to do, go into your menu, go into your piece, type the, push the page key, and we're going to go over to inputs. We're going to go down here to this channel 5, or number 5, and we're going to click on this source, push the enter key, and I'm going to put it to this here to this switch up here on the top, the SG. So I go ahead and I move it around a little bit and then it changes to SG just like I want it to be. So I go ahead and push enter, then I get out of this one and we want to go from the inputs over to the mixer. And we're gonna go, again, we're gonna go down here to channel five, push enter and the source here needs to say I05, I is the input channel five, enter. All right, so let's exit off of there. It's already selected for some reason. That's okay. All right, so then that should, that'll set up this switch here to be the auto level switch. So let's, again, let's look at the KK2 board. So now when we flip the switch from the very forward position to the middle, nothing happens. We've got to pull it all the way back toward us, all the way back to the second switch. And then you can see there, the auto level changes to on. Now go ahead and I'll flip it back there it's off and I pull it back toward us and it's back to on again. So anyway, that should take care of the auto level and all the directional controls on your KK2 board. If you have any questions about how the Tyrannus and the D4R2 connect up to the KK2 board, leave them in the comments, I'll try to help. I'm not professional at this, but I do my best. So anyway, this is uh, Matt Hall's Simple Copter, in case you were wondering what I've, what I've been working on. Anyway, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them as best I can. And thanks, as always, for watching. See you later.